Hello everyone, welcome to a new series for developers who are interested in developing with Experience Cloud and Lightning Web Runtime Sites. In this fourth episode, we will look at the styling capabilities of LWR Sites, so that every pixel on your site, your custom components and base Lightning components match your custom branding. I can't wait for it, so let's go! Users expect a consistent branding be it consumer-facing websites or at internal portals. And we as developers expect or hope whatever we build can be as reusable as possible, no matter where it's used and no matter if the page design changes. With LWR sites, you have full control over your branding, maintain the functionality of your own or of third-party components and you don't have to change them if the site design changes. Let's look at a brief demo on how that looks like in practice. We are here again on our AZ Insurance marketing site. You may be already familiar with how it looks like. Light colors, custom font. Now let's switch to the LWR default theme and whoa, that looks different. Other colors, other fonts, but still the same functionality. How is this all possible? By using CSS custom properties. Let's go through why we need them in the first place what they are and how to use them within an LWR site. In a regular web application, you may have some CSS, like for setting the button color to blue. And you will have your button as part of the DOM, which is by the way also called Light DOM. In this scenario, you have no limitations. You can globally apply styling to everything. Now, with Lightning Web Components, it is different. Let's say you have a My Custom Button component that in itself contains a button element and you want to style that button also blue. Now, because web components use a shadow DOM, any globally available CSS does not cascade through the shadow DOM boundary. The button stays unstyled. And to solve this, we use CSS custom properties, which are also called, by the way, CSS variables. They can pierce through a shadow DOM boundary and with that you can apply custom styling globally. In the previous example, we applied the background color via CSS directly to the button element. Now with CSS custom properties, you can define a property globally in your CSS, like dash dash button color or dash dash button background color blue, whatever is most applicable to your use case. And then within our web component, we define that our button element should inherit the value of our button color property. So far so good? Okay, there's one more thing. In the Experience Cloud, we don't use native Shadow DOM. As of today, we use instead the so-called Synthetic Shadow DOM. Synthetic Shadow allows global CSS to be applied to elements within your web components. You can spot the difference in the DOM of your component, as the native Shadow root is not there. Still, the component has a local styling defined and you can use custom properties to apply global values locally. So no matter where our My Custom Button component is used, it will always inherit the background color for its bottom element from the side that the component is running on. So let's check out the options on how to do this on an LWR site. We're back in Experience Builder and in the theme panel you can define the styling of your pages components visually, like colors, images, text or spacing. For example, let's change the site spacing and specifically the vertical padding of our layout sections and just in real time you see the change that we just made. These changes are now stored in the metadata of your theme. To be specific, they are stored in the build your own LWR branding set of our experience bundle. This is a JSON based branding set for our theme. The values key holds the list of available branding properties that are applied out of the box to your site. When we search for vertical, we come to the vertical row padding desktop setting that we just changed in experience builder. So far, you learned now about two options for setting theme properties, visually in Experience Builder or directly in the metadata of your Experience Bundle. But what if you want to have more control? What if you want to have a redeployable style across many sites without having to worry that they could be manually overridden? This can be solved by deploying a custom style sheet globally as a static resource. When we check the settings of our site in Experience Builder, we can use the Advanced section to edit the head markup of our site. What I want to show here is the last entry. We are referencing to the static resource Marketing Experience Styles. 
This is a static resource which holds the custom CSS for our site. And also note the style sheet definitions before. These hold the CSS for the Salesforce Lightning Design System, as well as the styling definitions that are set via Experience Builder or our Experience Bundle. And as always, order of CSS matters. So make sure that your custom CSS file is the last one that is referenced here. Otherwise, it won't be applied. So far, we learned why we need custom CSS properties and the different options to define them. Next, we will look at a set of available CSS properties in a practical example. In the previous video of the series, you learned how to build a custom navigation with LWR sites. Now, this navigation component is also using custom CSS properties so that we can reuse it across multiple sites. On the left, you see a subset of properties that we defined in our globally available style sheet. And on the right, we have the CSS file for our navigation menu component. Within that component, we leverage custom properties like the main root color, the main font, or a contrast color. And these DXP variables are specifically built for applying custom styles for Experience Cloud. Now, when we scroll down, we can also see custom CSS properties for base lightning components, which are prefixed with SDS. This means that you can use the same technique to not only style your site or your custom components, you can also use it to style the Salesforce provided base lightning components. Now the question is, how can you learn about that? How can you learn about all the available properties? Because there are many. First and foremost, check out the description for the documentation about LWR sites or the Salesforce Lightning Design System, both in the description. We have the relevant and available properties documented there for you. Now, as a developer, I also love to understand a system by inspecting the actual outcome. For that, we're going to look at the DOM. We selected here our navigation menu element. And on the right, you see what CSS is actually applied, all based on CSS custom properties. And there are two things I want to highlight here. First, CSS custom properties can have fallback values. Like in the case for the font size. If the body font size property has not been set, it will fall back to the font size 3 property. Consider applying this approach for components where you want to have a fallback or default values. Second, DXP custom properties that relate to colors are always a bundle, a main color and a contrast color. Think of it like defining the foreground and the background color. You may not want to have blue and blue, for example. And it's not only the design why you have to define main and contrast colors as a bundle. It is also relevant for the accessibility of your site. The WCAG AA specification outlines specifically that the text-related contrast ratio for regular text needs to be at least 4.5 to 1 and for large-scale text 3 to 1. We linked in the description the specification as well as a freely available tool that allows you to determine if your contrast ratios fulfill the specification. Your next step is now to set up the sample application and to check out where and how we use custom properties. Then play around with it and learn how you can use them to apply your very own custom branding to your LWR sites. Thanks so much for joining. Feel free to like the video and see you next time when we talk about Salesforce CMS in LWR sites. Never miss an episode by subscribing and turning on your notifications.